Hello viewers, welcome to Learning X. Today we are going to show you the second part of our FIFA World Cup dashboard. If you haven't seen the first part yet, please check that before watching this video to fully enjoy this. I have given the dashboard file in the description box. Check that to practice it by doing the same dashboard. In the last video, we have completed the first page of our dashboard. Now we'll cover rest of the part of our dashboard, which is the second page of our dashboard. We'll start from this map and we'll finish at this budget. So let's start. First of all, we'll make a copy of our dashboard and we'll rename it with dashboard page two. Now I'll remove the slicer and all the charts and infographics from this dashboard except the right one and the left one. Now I'll copy this one and I'll paste it here. I'll just drag it here. And I'll change the color with pure red color. I'll do the same. Now I'll link our dashboard page one with page two so that I'll click link here, place in this document dashboard page two, and I'll click OK. And if I click here, we can see that it directly goes in dashboard page 2. I'll do the same here, link, place in this document and dashboard. Now, both of them are connected with hyperlink. If I click, it will go there. Okay, it's done. Now what will we will do, we will copy this picture, picture of the Ronaldo, one of my favorite player, I will paste it here. Now I will go to in this sheet and I will drag it, I will select it, I will go to insert, I will go to my add-ins and I will click on geographic heat map if you don't have it you can go to a store you can search it here and you can download it from here so already have downloaded it i will add it now and within a just click it's done i'll give choose map type world i'll give a title total goals in the world cup save it and we have got our map charts this is very simple but it looks really nice when you keep it in a dashboard now i'll place it i'll format the size with a specific size of 3.96 and 5.85 Now I'll go to setting, I'll change the color of background with this one. I'll save it. The color isn't perfect for background, so I'll change it. Now you can see the map is showing the number of total goals in the World Cup by country. Now I'll go to World Cup database by team in this sheet and I'll insert a pivot table now I want to show a pie chart which will show goals against versus goals for I'll go to insert I'll go to chart donut chart I'll right click on the chart I'll click on select data 
so it's row to column now I'll copy it and I'll paste it in the dashboard I'll copy a shape from the page one I'll paste it here I'll change the shape color which is similar to the background I'll resize the shape I'll bring it to font I'll fill it with no outline now I'll remove all the field buttons and I'll title it goal for versus goals against I'll color it with green and I'll color it with red I'll do this white color I'll remove this I'll make it in center now I'll fill this with red color and I'll fill this with green color Now we'll copy this shape, I'll resize it and I'll place it here. Now again I'll insert another shape, I'll place it here. I'll copy it and I'll paste it little upper side. I'll fill it with this color and I'll give the title total points. I will align it, I will bold it, I will format paint it as like same and I will give a white color outline, I will increase the weight, I will do same for this. Now I want to show total points in the World Cup for a specific country, for that I have to go to analyze part. Now I will copy this and I will paste this. I will go to analyze, I will go to field list, I will remove these two and I will bring points. So it will show the points, I will link it as like the previous and I will link it with this shape. I will change the font color, font size and everything. I'll give a text effect with shadow effect and this is done now I'll insert a slicer for that I have to go to analyze sheet I'll click on pivot table I'll go to insert I'll click on slicer and I'll click on team our slicer is done now I will make a copy of it and I'll paste it in the dashboard Now I'll resize it. I'll go to option. I'll increase the number of columns by three. I'll go to slicer setting, display header no. I'll uncheck it. And I'll check it. I will give this blue theme. You can change the theme. By modify from that setting or slicer part is done I will give a shadow effect for all the shapes charts slicer whatever I have in this space now I want to show you total win versus total loss versus total draws 
by a single country for that we have to go to our analyze sheet we have to copy this I will paste it here I will go to analyze field list I will remove all of this from this chart I will give team in rows and win draw and loss in values I will go to design I will go to grand totals and I will click in the first option and I will move team to rows to columns I will go to insert to bar. now I will remove all the field buttons I will remove the grid lines I will change the color for some of win with green some of loss with red and some of draw with yellow color I will click on add data data labels now I'll click on that series and I'll format I'll also give category name I'll remove everything and I'll paste it here now I'll place it in a proper way I'll remove this I'll fill with no fill outline with no outline I'll give this white color font bold it black color is looking nice I'll increase the size of the chart now for title I'll link this country with this shape To format the shape now our last task is to report connect these charts with a slicer it's already connected automatically and our dashboard is done you can see it's working nice and fully dynamic you can click on any country and the information will be shown according to that country thanks for watching the full video follow us to watch more attractive dashboard with free downloadable file don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon for notification